Time Artifacts Mars. And Bruce Springsteen, the boss, has canceled a show in North Carolina. And he's taking a lot of hit, heat. You see, North Carolina passed some law that's causing shockwaves throughout the nation. I applaud them. Uh, it basically says, uh, if you're born a boy, you're born a boy. You're born a girl, you're born a girl. Girls use girls' bathrooms, boys use boys' bathroom. Makes sense to me. But the boss decided to screw his fans by saying, sorry, not going to do the concert. Of course, he's refunding the money or he'd uh, wind up being sued. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Springsteen, you're a disgrace. You're obviously a liberal. You don't care about right and wrong. All this stuff came up because people are saying boys are boys and girls are girls. Which makes only makes sense to me. Uh, the way I see it, you want to have your private parts modified like that, you ought to be put into a mental hospital. Because... There, there are laws that say you can be put into a mental hospital if you are trying to harm yourself. And in my book, that's called harm. Trying to change who you are. And other thing is, and even more important, is we don't need pervs going into the men's bathroom, women's bathroom, and peeping under the stalls. And that's about what's going to happen here. They had this up in SOTUS. I haven't been able to get to it. There's some issue like that up in SOTUS, which is up on Lake Ontario. Related law signed in Mississippi this week allows people a special religious objections to deny wedding services to sex same-sex couples and permits employers to cite religion in, in determining workplace policies on dress code, grooming, bathroom, and locker access. So we have these celebrities, and it's Governor Cuomo. Uh, I'm going to mention Governor Cuomo here. But I'll have to do him separately. He's banned state travel to Mississippi and North Carolina over this stuff. Anything but absolutely necessary state travel. Well, he can go, he can go, uh, fuck himself as far as I'm concerned. He can go commit an unnatural sexual act with himself. South Carolina lawmakers on Wednesday introduced a measure that require transgender people to use public bathrooms matching their sex at birth. Good! And Tennessee is considering a similar measure for students in public schools and colleges. Good! On Friday, pop singer Miley Cyrus, a Tennessee native, and country music stars Emmy Lou Harris, Ty Herndon, and Shelley Wright blasted the proposal proposed legislation in the state known as the home of country music's capital, Nashville. Shelley Wright, if you don't know, is a lesbian. I have a lot of friends in Nashville with great big voices, and it's time we all use our voices to stand up against the scourge of unnecessary hateful legislation. Wright said one of the first country music stars to come out as gay, said in a statement released, by a human rights campaign, which is LGBT. So that's very interesting. Uh, we know who some of the leftists are here. So let's go ahead. We'll take a look. I'm just going to take a look at the uh, wiki on this. Just for the uh, sake of ease, public facilities 
Privacy and Security Act, officially called an act to provide for single sex, multiple occupancy bathrooms, and changing facilities in schools and public agencies, and create statewide consistency and regulation of employment and public accommodations. Is an act passed in the U.S. state of North Carolina in 2016. The act also prohibits the establishment of a minimum wage by the state minimum and limits the definition of sex to sex at birth. Good! Requiring all government controlled facilities to maintain single sex multi occupancy bathrooms for matching biological sex only. Single occupancy bathrooms may be designated single sex or unisex. Yeah, those don't really matter. I'm talking we don't want pervs going in the girls' bathroom and peeking underneath the stalls. Legislation also states there can be no statutory or common law private right or action to enforce the state's anti-discrimination statutes in state courts. Seems like common sense uh, legislation to me, but all these leftists are going after it. Like I said, I haven't even dealt with Governor Cuomo yet. He is, that guy is something else. I'll tell you that much. They call him on uh, local radio and they call him Governor Headcase. Governor Cuomo, apparently, from the people who work with him and know him, they know that he's a flat job. Basically. I could have told you that without ever working with him. Because liberalism is a mental disorder. This stuff's not going away. These celebrities trying to uh, interfere with, use their positions. So here's what I'm going to suggest. If uh, Bruce Springsteen had audacity, that much disrespect for his fans, he goes and cancels the concert because he don't like the laws there. Here's why I would suggest. Boycott Bruce Springsteen and any of the rest of these dirtbags who uh, would do something like this. I mean, that's disrespect to the fans. This is my whole point. So, you people who are Bruce Springsteen fans, I would suggest you boycott him. Teach him a lesson. Uh, he may not understand politics very well, but he does he does understand money. Don't buy his records. Don't buy his memorabilia. Don't go to his concerts. Maybe after a few concerts, don't... Uh, maybe after he sings to a few empty concert halls, he'll get the idea. Of course, it's hard to get people to understand that this whole LGBT thing is wrong, but... I mean, I can't stomach it. It's driving me up the wall and down the other side. You're born a male, you're born a male. You're born a female, you're born a female. Seems like common sense to me. Unbelievable. Well, there you have it. I say boycott Bruce Springsteen. I'm Artifacts Mars. I approve of this message.